Hey everyone, this is Rafi here. It's time for a big DVD and Blu-ray update for April 24th, 2021. In this update, I'm going to show you 15 DVDs and 4 Blu-rays. Which yesterday I got one, 2 DVDs and 1 Blu-ray at the part of the pond. And then earlier today I got 13 DVDs and 3 Blu-rays at the library. So I will point out which ones I got at the part of the pond. And if it has these stickers right there, that means I got at the library. So, yep, let's go ahead and get this started right now. This is a massive update, by the way. I hear this movie's supposed to be pretty interesting, so I'm definitely going to have to watch this movie sometime. This is a France and Italy Italian film. And I do like Antonio Banderas, so I decided to go ahead and borrow this DVD. I'm not sure what movie that is, but this is, but I do want to plan to get Java Heat sometime. Nineteen ninety nine DVD. Yeah, you can see the case is not the, not the greatest condition. This is a Europa Corp film, co of TF1 Films. And this is actually one of the very first DVDs to use the 2012 Mongo Media logo. I think Senna was the very first. Or for the love of God, I don't know. And he, there's a huge crack right there. Which the disc looks like a camera lens. I do want to finally get wet lens, but I'm not really interested in getting Pina. This is a Quebec film. I actually did used to have this movie on VHS, which I got at Valley Village back in 2015. But now I borrowed the DVD, which is the special edition DVD from 2007. And just like the pic picture, the case is not the greatest condition. There's a massive crack right there. Yeah, see, it's got plastic. You can see it has a piece of that uh, plastic inside that uh, case right there. You can see. But the disc might still work fine, so that's all that matters. <clears throat> this is a Blibbert. Blayberg Entertainment film. And it's got good cast, so I might have to check this out. This movie's made in three countries. Germany, USA, and Israel. I believe this is a full more... You can see from... You can barely see it, but... It's a full more from Blockbuster, even though it's covered up by this MBPLS sticker. You can see underneath it. Even though the Metropole logo wasn't shown on the case. Now here's a classic film right here. Nineteen sixty four film.
This is probably one of the very last Columbia Trusser Home video DV before they change over to Columbia Trusser Home Entertainment. It says 1963 on the case, but on the disc, but the case on here says 1964. This is a 1963 film. We knew the nine times one. This one's also for more from Blockbuster, just like Animus Rected. Now, this movie was released by Magnolia Pictures, even though the Magnolia Pictures logo wasn't shown on, on this DVD for some reason. Full one from Blockbuster. I do like Nicolas Cage, so I decided to pick this up. Borrow this up, excuse me. This is a documentary film. This is a Sony Pictures Classics film. Now, this has a weird rating, which you'll see right now. Yeah, that is a pretty weird rating. Just like on, I believe the DVD of It's Complicated also has that rating, weird rating. This is co-produced with the Kenny Marshall Company. I believe they, I think they acquired by Entertainment One, but if, uh, no, I don't know. I think it did. This is a Summit Entertainment film. You can see this piece right there that broken off. Now this next one's a TV show set. I actually never seen Homeland, but it's supposed to be pretty good. So I'm definitely gonna have to check this one out. And plus this show is on Disney Plus, part of the Star Package here in Canada. And here are the episodes list and bonus features, and you can just pause the video if you want to read it. Now, here's the last one I got the library today. I don't have the, the sequel, A Bad Mom's Christmas, yet, but I'm still trying to look for that sometime. This is a STX film. And you can see there's a crack right here, but the disc still works fine. Let me check, hold on. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, you can see it. Doesn't wanna close right. As you can see, it doesn't wanna close. Now I have the last, now here's the last two DVDs I got at the Parlor Pond yesterday afternoon. Now here's the last DVD for the update. Now remember in my August 11th, 2020 update when I borrowed the DVD of Teenage Paparazzi from the library? Then I returned it and now I finally got it back in the collection again. I did used to have this DVD back in 2017, but I got rid of it for no reason. And now, finally have it again. This is a HBO documentary movie. And that's it for the the DVDs, and now onto the four Blu-rays. Three of them I got at the library, and one at the part of the pond. So let's get started. I mean, let's continue, excuse me. 
I did used to have this on DVD, but unfortunately I don't have it anymore. Got rid of it for no reason now. I finally got it back in the collection for right now. This is a Paramount film. Kobe to Swift, Saturn Films, Virtual Studios, and Revolution Studios. I know there's a, a TV show with the same name and on Fox, but that show, I believe, got canceled due to low ratings. This movie, I heard really great things about this movie, so I'm definitely going to have to check this one out. This is another Summit Entertainment film. And this one actually came from Spin It because it has these writings right here on there. So I believe this must have been originally purchased at Spin It at one point and then sold it to the library. Unrated version. And you can see the flaps are broken off. Now here's the last Blu-ray. This one I got part of the pond yesterday. This was made by Trailer Park Productions. Same company did Trailer Park Boys. There you have it, guys. That's going to be it for my huge DVD and Blu-ray update for April 24th, 2021. And stay tuned for more update videos coming soon.